Hey yo pretty people, welcome back to Full Stalk. My name is VoXP and today we have winter. Infinite amounts of it. Well, three months of it actually. So um this is a resource pack, of course. Just like I just used the autumn resource pack made by Denator Games. This is basically uh, the Netter Games SSS uh, Winter Season Resource Pack that got released recently and that you can to download down in the, in the description. There's a link uh, to his uh, download page, so feel free to use, feel free to share. Because this resource pack is absolutely epic, absolutely awesome and ever so festive and cool and fun. Uh, and everything you build in it looks really clean, really wintry and really snowy. Check this out. I absolutely love it. And you can see also that I made a ton of improvements for this base, for this place, that I did a ton of stuff off camera, starting with that guest. And uh, basically that hill, that hill got metamorphosed a lot recently you can see that the weather core got changed which caused this whole uh, this whole ruin this whole place uh, go under the winter winter season uh, then again the we weather core change also caused icicles to grow you can see the icicles I bought some packed ice from anime angel then uh, I have this part of the hill uh, this hill that I really want to uh, basically submerge in little houses just like this one. See this one? Yeah. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. This is the general feel. I want this house to be completely covered in uh, small tiny rooms uh, where you can actually live. And uh, the idea is that there's like one little little tiny house under the bridge, under the, the stairway. Then there's this uh, tavern. Of a spy fox and spy fox is uh, my friend from my Russian channel, so don't don't really like pay attention to it. <laughs> this is the tavern that I have here, and it really looks pretty cool in my opinion. Pun not intended. The idea here is that uh, this river here, some time ago, it was a bigger river. All right, it was uh, the the water level wa level was higher here, and you could actually sail across the river. So you could actually sail from there to there. Uh, and uh, after something happened, probably this guy screwed up, you know, the weather magician. Uh, this area got drained from water and the river got smaller. But one of the ships actually was already mid, uh, let's say, mid travel, mid sailing. And it basically smashed into this rock. And then the remains of that ship were used in creating that in creating that area, in creating that tavern and this tiny, tiny, what's it? This tiny room. Basically, this is what I do, guys. This is what I do. I usually build by imagining some kind of, some kind of small stories. It basically powers my creativity. It fuels my inspiration. Uh, just like we, we have this wall with the barbarians, just have like we have this remains of those ships. If you can imagine like a story around your build, it will uh, al always feel and look ever so better. So the question is, what if, what if, what if I will stop farming whatsoever? So see this cornfield, uh, no, sorry, wheat field. What if I harvest it and as a tiny challenge for myself, I will stop farming anything till the winter ends or at the very least, uh, let's say till the New Year's, alright? Uh, basically, it, it would mean that I will play a couple of months without ever planting a seed. So let's get rid of all this uh, wheat and see what happens.
And just like that, the final harvest of this season is done. Yay! I'm gonna run out of food, aren't I? I need some kind of backup so food source and that's where those three come in. Uh, it took me forever to hunt some cows around here. I searched far and wide and spent way too much time on finding them. But I've managed to do it. To do it. To do it. Yay. Yay. So this is Ben. This is Betsy. They're my pet cows. I didn't name their babies because I'm planning on actually eating him. I actually have a backup plan for uh, in case in case I actually manage to run out of wheat and run out of meat. The backup plan is that this is a server and I'm not alone here. So the idea is that if I run out of absolutely everything, bye bye Gorokus, I can always create something called a trade route. That's right. I, if anything, if nothing else, I can always just rely on my server mats and just buy some food from them. Because uh, my tiny ho tiny town, my hometown, is actually quite uh, not s uh, not so far from another big uh, town on the server, which is of course Colony. Check this out. We basically spent two minutes, and we're already next to Golf House SSS uh, Mo Ocean Monument. But to actually trade with Colony, we need to come up with something that we can trade them for, like something that they would actually want but i assume that that's a task for a different episode because right now i need to figure out some kind of barn for my cows some kind of uh, tiny cow farm that i can have and uh, yeah that's the plan all right so the barn is done and the cows are coming in are you betsy are you coming in she is come with me and yeah, guys, I do understand that uh, a barn and a cow aren't exactly that exciting of a, of a concept for an entire episode. But guys, 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 look at this from the from another angle. I... Hey, cows, cows, get in the barn, get in the barn, get, get here. Can, can you, can you please? Yes, thank you. Now, let's, let me see. Boop, boopty. Boop, 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 boop. And we need a fence gate. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, sheep, you go away. Cow, you stay. You stay, cow. Cow, you stay. Alright, Betsy, Ben. Have sweet, sweet cow love. Oh, yeah, that's some sweet cow loving. And yes, I do realize that uh, this is supposed to be my non roleplay series. And all I've been doing today has been roleplay, but come on, come on guys, it's so fun and it's, it's very um, interesting, to say the least, at least for me, uh, to look at Minecraft through those uh, thoughts of, oh hey, it's winter, so I cannot like gather any more wheat, oh, it's, uh, they are cows, so they need some hay, uh, down under their hooves, so they can, like, they won't freeze to death in this uh, wintry night. All this, all those thoughts, they actually, as I say, they fuel my creativity, they get me going, and uh, let's consider this whole episode a little excel into how my brain works whenever I craft, whenever I build something in Minecraft. And actually, if you look past the fact that I created a barn, a barn for goddamn sake <laughs> on camera uh, off camera I've done actually a lot of work I'm putting a lot of effort into this series and uh, guys guys uh, if you think so please just do leave a like do leave a comment uh, tell me that I'm doing good or, or or even maybe tell me that I'm doing bad I'm absolutely okay with the thought that I'm actually not doing that great guys don't consider myself like the best person ever but however that's gonna be it for today's episode yes that's gonna be it there's gonna be another full stack episode this week if all is well uh it's gonna be on the sunday on our miscellaneous um miscellaneous 
uh, day and uh, the reason why there's gonna be another another full stack episode is basically first of all I absolutely love playing with the server and second of all it's gonna be my penalty for not uh, not keeping up with the schedule and not releasing a Magicraft episode uh, last week so yeah I'll put do my best I'm not uh, saying I won't follow schedule at all no I'll do my still do my best to uh, meet the exp expectations and I will see you, I will see you guys in the very next episode. See you later, bye bye.